bringing back the gyro. I've seen teams try and do this before. They, you know, one of the things they do do sometimes when there's an, an enigma in the game, uh, because the, the the flak against the eidolons. Yeah, That'll no, be no, indeed what the the inevitable was set to happen. That's uh, top play. So nothing to say. He's gonna have to look to make probably some early moves onto the side lanes because top. They're going in for old 11. Skeeter has to back away, though, getting pretty low. And nothing to say with the rotation. We'll be here to help out. Not before old 11 goes down. But with the Rolling Thunder, will manage to claim the life of Snaking. Stats, right. She mostly like that as mid lane. Uh, he's going to go for this with the Stampede. He's able to get the, the kill. He's a little too speedy, nothing to say. But you can see Saxa coming across, throws a tree across. Not enough to take him out. Top he will have TP in a second, but he's still a bit short on mana. And Saxa, he'll TP over towards the tier two and make sure that he's indeed still able to take down nothing to say. And same time up top. Now get snaking. Can get Skeeter as well. Pretty nice kill, but Skeeter a little too. Oh, oh, oh okay. What a snake. 11 there. Bang on target with those axes. So the way that 11's gotten his recovery, he's actually quite a big threat right now. If he gets the roar onto Skeeter, it's very likely he just dies. Tombstone down. Drop the tombstone. Avalanche as well. Tossed to the side as well as the rupture. Old 11. Getting very, very low, but still able to get the roar off. Turns his attention over towards Skeeter. The mech's popped as well, Black keeping hole. him alive a little longer. The Black Hole's there for 33. Old 11 still alive. We'll get another round of the axes off. In fact, he, he's, he's just living through it all. He's going to get a double kill. They can't kill him. The backup here from the team. Finally, Nine slams him down with a double edge. But uh, he, he got a hell of a lot done there. We'll see if Nine can clean up any more kills. Closes the gap onto Why You Smile with the Houston double edge. We'll find a second. So Nine able to rectify the fight a little bit here for Tundra. I think PSGLGD very happy considering they were playing a Beastmaster Rubik versus this Dying Bloodseed. No, absolutely. Yeah, they, cool. they didn't have the, the easiest lane matchups, but they've they've come out of that laning stage kind of across the board in a good in good shape. And top lane, old eleven. And nine getting close and close, closer and closer to his blink dagger. Level eleven. No roar available too. He's getting the sandwich onto old eleven. Yeah, nine. Him with a stampede. And I'll even pop the rupture here to make there's no chance of running for old eleven. Caught by the blood right silence. Nine will be able to finish him off. They'll also catch Planet at the side of the engagement. Tundra. Yeah, it does an insane amount of damage. At this point, playing versus so much. Blink on the Centaur Shiro. Uh-oh. They finally find him. I mean, do, do Nine and Saxon want to try and approach this from behind? They're, they're going to go nah, to stop. I don't think they need to. I don't think they have to like go fight in this area. They already lost the tower, so there's nothing really to fight for. There's no way LGD pushes for a tier two. Setting up around top, though. Oh, there's the opening. Nine's in with a hoof stomp. Saxa able to follow up with the toss combo. There's no way out of this for nothing to say. So he's actually a lot more fragile than usual. The reason that Lena is so insane is because you just go stats as well as have crazy stack gain. Stay. Down here. BKB's finished on Skitter. It's dying too quick, though. They haven't scouted it. Yep, the, they check it out too late. Uh, Shira's going to be able to grab the Aegis. Here's the LGD taking Roche. I think they can fight right now with Aegis. I think they're pretty good to go. Yeah, I mean, he's just picked up the crit as well, so decent bump up to the damage he offers. Yeah, I'll be able Saxa. to catch Saxa. We'll at least give time for the rest of Tundra to escape the area. Saxa will be the one left behind. I think it's time to start running at them. Run at the side of Tundra. 11. Ooh. He's going to walk straight into this. They turn. He's tanky. With the rupture. Indeed, he's getting healed up, but uh, not quite enough to live through this. They'll lose their Beastmaster. Doesn't get the roar off. And now top, nothing to say. Uh-oh. He used the swashbuckle to try and get in close towards the haste rune, but he's not able to close the gap and pick it up. A stampede will be stolen. Wait, it, he'll still die. Uh, a good attempt there from Planet to try and get him out of there with a the stolen stampede. It's a this big wrap around from PSTLGD. Can Old 11 get the roar off? See if he can find his target. Ah, Snaking will manage to get the tombstone down very, very quickly. Stolen tombstone, though, is going to be in place by Planet. Old so the LGD will have that to fight around themselves. They did immediately lose the Beastmaster. He didn't manage to get his roar off. We'll see the chase from nothing to say. Look at it was nine. He'll actually back off from it. Doesn't want to try and waste any further time chasing the Centaur. Hard to get the jumps. Old 11. I think he like he just was like, I don't really want a roar centaur because it looked like I he had so, the range yeah. for it. And he's just like, uh, is this actually a good idea? This feels like it could be a disaster. 
Knocks it. Looking for nothing to say. Oh, they get the toss. the toss back. And into the hoof stomp. He's still going to have the swashbuckle. He still has the backup as well. Raw this yeah, time will him. be committed onto nine. Let's see if they can kill him. Shira's trying to stay on top of the centaur. He gets forced to the side. We'll get dragged back by the Wild Wing Ripper. Nine getting very, very low. Managed to get the Houston pop onto Shiro. But nine will... He's got to be going down. Indeed he will. Shiro finishes him off. Double kill for Shiro. And they're not done quite yet. They find 33 in the trees. They get the three of them. Finally, PSG LGD able to find this fight that they've been looking to force. Oh, you know, the last few moves that they've made. Shiro gets a double. Big farm, big damage. Shiro's got it sorted. Top lane. Oh, he's going to get involved in another grab here. It's planet. Find Saxer oh in the trees. All right, Jara, he, he's turning up. Another Roche. PSG LGD is going to take out of this. There we go, right. Aegis. But team fight aspects at all. When PSG LGD is grouped up, these auras and everything, it is very potent with what they're playing up against. Yeah, look, at look at her dying. Look at that one hit. Oh, they're ready to roll. They, they've they got the nine. lead in on to nine. They're going to see if they control him. Saxon will manage to toss him out to the side. So gets him away. Shiro will stand his ground to take down the tombstone. And Saxa looking to fall very low. There's nothing to say. Attempts to chase him. Nine gets back in with the stampede. They're closing on to Shiro, but he has the ages. Gonna be back for round two, but he will lose the, the backup of why you smile as the chain goes down. He'll get the BKB off. Telekinesis onto Skeeter. Skeeter popping the BKB as well, trying to stand his ground against Skeeter, but it's too much damage coming out from this Jara. Skeeter's got to run as Tundra desperately scrambled back towards the base. The buyback comes out from Saxa. He'll jump in with the combo. Will manage to land on top of Shiro. They'll burst through the Gyro. A solid buyback there from Saxa. Ensures that they will kill this gyrocopter off. Continue farming those waves down bottom. He'll join the rest of the team. He's got his satanic. He's got his his level twenty as well. Actually, they might... is that is that a surprise? Actually, by the way, that he takes the rocket prize damage over the flat cannon. I think I, I was looking at him considering which one he wanted to go for, and I yeah. guess because he has like the shard given to him for free, he wants sure. a little bit more barrage damage. I okay. mean, it's definitely weird, but yeah. Well, lane, oh nine. my goodness, nine. Is he a, oh, he's, he's still alive somehow. The, the missile's going to still finish him off. 33. He died so quickly there. That was a... Uh, he, the, he just disappeared, Fogged. And they're just fighting for the backdoor protection. Oh, boy. They'll take the melee racks. I mean, this jar, it's doing it. Ready to fight again. They know full how Scotty. strong they are. This courier has a full Scotty. Did they see it? Oh, oh they didn't kill it. It went right past them. Oh, oh my god, that's the luckiest curry I've seen in a long time. I gets past them all. They'll settle for the kill on Saxo. Nothing to say with a fantastic rolling thunder off towards the rest of Shiro. He's going to step in, try and hold his ground against Skeeter. But look towards the, the tombstone as well. It's getting caught by the bashes of Skeeter. And uh, still Skeeter just not quite having the damage to deal with this Jara. Shiro gets a triple as they're just cleaning up Tundra. I think this might just be game over, Fog. They can't deal I with this so. Gyro. Nope. He just holds his ground. Even though the Scotty's there, you see the reduction of healing. The Auras, he's got a pipe, he's got Greaves, he's got all this extra healing coming in from old 11 from those Auras too. That's it. I think that's just it. I think that's game. There's no buybacks available. PSG LG, they're onto the tier fours. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Shiro making it work with the Gyrocopter. Nine will jump in for one last final farewell as he gets taken out. We saw indeed some innovation from both teams with the last pick. One of them certainly ended up working much better than the others. Yes, GLGD, it's going to take some time for their lineup to all get together with this bristle back, but let's see if they're able to actually deal with this. Deal with this timber sock. On top. Well, this, this might be first blood hit. Snaking. Old 11 and Planet. Very persistent there with the aggression onto Snaking. Uh, no, nobody else is going to be coming over here from time. I mean, this is a danger. He could get tossed under tier two. Like, oh. look, they're, they're setting up for it. Oh, he is super dead. Oh, okay. okay. A little deep there for Shiro indeed. All right. Uh, he, he, he thought he could get away with being there. I thought he could as well. I think we both, yeah, me, me and him both underestimate the fact that that toss under a tier two could occur. As soon uh, as I, I, I don't, don't think he'll be going there again. Played this really smart in toss and they did it perfectly. Shiro gets punished for his over aggression. That's a, who got the last hit too? I was shared. But either way, I mean, that's going to be the, the arcane boots for 33. So Soxa will be pumped up. They can keep looking to make these type of toss back plays top. Oh, snaking. 
He's going to try and turn towards Old Eleven, but the backup's oh, in. Old Eleven, is he going to be able to get away from this? He's got the stick charges. He's away. And now Skeeter, he's in trouble as well. The sharp block's there. Very nicely done from PSG LGD. Nothing to say. Turns up to the top lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Six already, old 11. He's found the Dark Troll Summoner. Very strong. To bottom. Oh, bottom. Look for the toss back onto Shiro. Get him nice and close to the Timber Sword. And they'll drop the Black Hole as well. I will take a fair bit of damage with the Quill Sprays coming out, but not enough to, to lose anyone here from Tundra down bottom as they'll kill Shearer off cleanly. Uh, same time back on top. Snaking. Uh, he'll die again. Planet. He's spotted. I mean, Old Eleven's coming in from the side. Gonna drop the roar onto Skeeter. Try and get the safety for Planet to escape, but Nine is in with the Timber Chain. Will manage to cut down Planet. Old Eleven. He's Skeeter's turning on Skeeter. He's, he's actually gonna kill him. Old Eleven now dominating. Old Eleven's uh, crushing might just die. Wait, like, no, not again. Board. The board and the summons. This Dark Troll Summoner's no joke. Snay. He's got lift. He's gonna have to use it, but he's just dead. All right. My Old Eleven. Old Eleven's just walking away with the game right now. Nine is gonna look to try and take him out. Saxon will be here to stop the TP. So they'll finally be able to bring down Old Eleven. They needed to do that because Old Eleven, he was getting, he was getting out of control. Yeah, they want to be able to take him out a couple more times. He is a problem, so these kills will be pretty big. Yeah, just, just going all in on Old Eleven now. Get the roar off. It's a bit of a boost to the movement speed to try and run. So, uh, there's only so much he can do here on his own. Tundra, they will be able to take him out a second time now if this, from this top lane. Tundra can find more from this position. Saxa. Yes, he planet. He's got eyes on planet. Planet. Well, quickly turn with the static storm drop down, but Saxa's able to walk out to the side. Turns with the toss. So we'll get trapped in by the shards. Try and walk this off, but surrounded by the three of them, Saxa, nowhere to run. PSG LGD will take him out. Now they're going to look to go bottom, see if they can find Shira on the bristleback. Oh, ends up walking into why you smile instead. Still, though, Saxa is able to close the gap with the toss back. The, the bristle nice and close towards the timber, but the golem's going to be dropped down. Stolen golem. Trying to hold the back. Stolen golem indeed for snaking. Slam straight down on top of why you smile. The Chakram 9 bursting through Shiro. Shiro will fall. The original golem will end up killing snaking still. Up on the high ground, Skeeter also joins the fray and gets the pullback to set up onto nothing to say as well. So Tundra will manage to take the fight here and getting the big kills. Two of them, both the carry and the mid down for PSG LGD. D for Skeeter. The fight does kick off. I mean, they're looking for action. PSG LGD, they'll get the glimpse back onto nine. They found nine. Let's see if they can blow him up. They can. They'll get him caught here in the combo, roar into the golem. They take nine out of the game, and they'll get them the freedom to take this tier one. And Roche, maybe. Uh, they, they, they could go straight into the pit. Yeah, with this nine out of the move. game, they can walk in, and I don't think Tundra's going to have the ability to sort of set up as the four of them to, to do much about this. TP comes up from Saxa to join here with Snaking. Also 33 heading over. We'll see if the four of them can get into the pit, because Roshan is falling very quickly. They're going to try. But oh, yeah, static that, storm. that static storm, indeed fantastic here in blocking off Tundra from having any chance of getting over towards the pit. And now PSG GLGD, they can get the Roche, get the Aegis, they can step out and take the fight. They'll kill both supports. Saxon and Snaking taken out. Big moves here from PSG LGD. And they see multiple more heroes coming over too. So for Tundra, I mean, they're swinging over, but they see that at least four of the side of PSG LGD is over here. Saxon. They'll catch the Warlock. They'll get the toss back. And see if they can take him out before he can get his spells off. They won't. He's able to get the golem off. Roar as well, thrown down onto Saxa. Saxa, he'll be the first to fall on Tundra. So one for one in between the support. PSG LGD, they're ready to try and push for more. Shiro charging up to the high ground. Still has a minute left on the Aegis. Will hold back there due to the heavy burst that Nine's able to catch him with as the Timber saw. But the shard traps there. Snaking gets held back. Old Eleven cleans up the double. They get the vision for the glimpse onto 33. Thunderstrike as well. Nothing to say. He's in with the punch. 33. He'll turn with the black hole. He's caught the two of them. Nine throwing the Chakrams in as well. It's enough to be able to take down the Bristleback once. But nothing to say. Gets his BKB off. Tundra, they'll still lose 33. And that black hole there, it will just... Give them the chance of taking the Aegis out of Shira's hands, but it was an Aegis that was about to expire anyway. Skeeter. Oh, they've got eyes on Skeeter. He's going to have to put the BKB here to make sure he doesn't get glimpsed back into the Static Storm. Nothing to say. He's still able to close the gap with the Shards and the Punch Up. Shiro turns towards Snake King. Snake King, and he's got no way out of this. He'll buy some time here with the Stolen Snowball. A Shiro with his back turned, ready to kill him off with the Quill Sprays. Why you smile? Also popping the Golem to put Tundra off from being able to get 
on, to, on top of the, the bristle back nine. It's glimpsed back. Oh, Try and tip a chain away, but the Raw's there. They've got the control punch up as well. They take down nine. Two heroes dead on Tundra. And Shiro, he's thinking about going up towards the high ground as they trap 33 in with a shard. Saxon tried to toss him back to his safety, but he'll only oh, end up in Saxon dying. They get the Skeeter. glimpse set up as well onto Skeeter. It's going to be a team wipe here from PSG LGD as they take everything from Tundra and they lose nothing. They're down the mid lane onto the tier threes here. Fortification will buy a bit of safety for Tundra. But once again in this game too, everything is just coming together perfectly for PSG LGD. And Tundra, they're just looking a bit lost. Yep. 33, he's stealing the creep wave with a courier. So they will... Backdoor is probably going to kick in. Okay, they got the courier. Innocent's able to finish it. Oh, why you smile able to finish it off. But that's two Raxes, that's two sets. CK, so far behind. Very difficult fight for Tundra here. Ward 11's got the roll ready. Uh, it's going to be Saxon with the jump first. Gets him with the toss back onto Ward 11. That's oh. Ward 11 gone. The he's threat of the ball is removed. Saxa is going to offer the TP out in the middle of this fight. Nothing to say puts a stop to that. He gets straight in with a punch up. Saxa goes down. Skeeter is trapped in the shards. Again, snaking with the telekinesis. Able to save him. Gets him back to safety over the other side of them. They'll be able to separate themselves from PSG LGD. That was Shiro popping the BKB. Tundra, they'll commit the buyback from Saxa. And themselves, they had the five of them. 30 seconds until Old Eleven's able to join back with the rest of PSG LGD. Still nothing to say. Comes up with the wraparound. He's able to find 33 on the back. Black Lives Planet drops the Static Storm. That's 33 gone. And he himself doesn't have buyback. Saxe, it's a three-man avalanche. He's able to get the chance for toss back. Onto nothing to say. Gets him thrown over towards Skeeter and Nine. Tundra will be able to take the tusks down. Five seconds until Old Eleven's back, but a full minute now. No nothing to say from PSG LGD. BKB for Skeeter is ready and available for him to pop. We'll see if he's ever getting in time. He's not. It's already gone. Shira. He's struggling to get involved in this game. He's got his, you know, he's got his BKB. He's got his Mage Slayer, but he's still continued to be the bottom of the net worth of the chorus. And they have all the answers for him. And they always have vision. Look at this Hawk. It's scouting everything. What's Haxa? Toss back. Get the toss back on Shiro. I've got him decently deep. Uh, Nine's going to be off the mark with the Chakram. And in fact, Nine, he gets clipped oh, away. Oh, uh oh. Nine oh, is not going to be here for the defense. He gets sent straight back to the bottom lane. Uh, there's no timber to hold the base here. As uh, he's going to have to take the long walk across the map. And he might not get back soon enough. Because back in the base, Snaking's getting killed. They've got the raw to 33. Shiro's in with the BKB. 33's out of the game. It's a triple kill for Shiro. And Skinner. these two, they don't have buybacks. Shiro turns over to Skeeter. Nothing to say. He's in with a punch. That's Skeeter out as well. Three heroes down without buyback. Uh, it's it's, it's got to be game over, I think, Vogt. What a glimpse. <laughs> Planet just sends Nine out of the game. And now Nine, he shows back up. And he's a static storm. He's dead. He's very, very dead. He has got buyback. But wow. his teammates do not. So indeed, they'll tap out. GG is called PSG LGD here. will take the series. They'll take both wins. 2-0 against Tundra. And they, they look good doing it.